Well, ladies and gentlemen, what are the four movies you see you? Is it good? Let's find out. Oh, hey guys, me on Thomas Wilkins, and I'm going to do a review of Wonder Woman. The fourth movie in the DCEU in the, in the fourth movie that came out this year. Not uh, Super Wonder Woman, here we go. Let's start. What did we the plot of Wonder Woman? Um, an Amazon print that becomes the original superhero Wonder Woman, put me out of the That would be the part in a nutshell. Okay. We're going in this movie, as you well know in general, I'm, I'm actually a DC fan. I didn't see. It's granted the are human comics, but whatever, she's a different point. Um, and what one of them was on my most anticipated movie of this year. Why? Most because I want a good DCEU movie. Because, funny, after the failure of Man of Steel, the disappointed BBS, and the disappointed Suicide Squad, I would, I want to be a surprise one of them. And, what's my thoughts? <gasps> I like this movie. Now, Am I seeing this movie perfect? <laughs> no, it's not perfect. Bar none. But you know what? It, it's better. It, it's better than the last DCE we got. But that's the same much. But this is one of the first movies, and we know. What's up with the cat? What's up with on Gal Gadot at, at a diet point? Okay, one on. She was perfect. Like holy shit, she was the prime in the movie because in BBS they give her Jack Shetty Randy, but in this movie, she was amazing. It did awesome. Oh shit, you want my bed and I think she killed it. Chris Bond as uh, Steve Trevor. Awesome. Awesome casting. That paid off. He was great. Um Connie Nielsen as her partner. Great. Um Danny Houston as um the general Rudolph. Great. Uh, all the cast is perfect. All the cast is good. Um now. As for the action scene, what's it, 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 Basically, um, America and Nazis were the character. This movie, it makes World War One more black, but World War One more black and white. Because, neither side, one of the character, like, it, it's a lot more complicated than that, but when you think about it, World War One, it's very, well, it's a very in, into war. Because, from a historical standpoint, they're no good guys or bad guys. It's, like, in the gray. Now, does this movie take that to advantage? Um, uh, it does and it doesn't. Let me explain. Well, like, basically, the main villain in the movie is, well, Ares. I don't, I don't, I don't know what the spoilers are in it, right? but you know what the Ares um, The main villain in the movie, you know, I don't get spoiled, but let's say you know one of them body, you know, and the fun about it, you guys, very interesting. Here we go. What the fuck you know? What the hell Dr. Poison? Uh, she was okay at best. Granted, I don't know any, any of Dr. Poison, so I don't know if it did it, it, a combo combo, but she was okay. Not my favorite villain, but you know what? She, she was an interesting villain. Um, I'm gonna talk about I'm gonna get some spoilers. Uh, as for the general, general guy was okay. Like, he was an okay villain. Not my favorite, but you know what? He was a good antagonist. Uh, hmm. What to talk about? Add for the add for the cinematography. Cinematography was gorgeous. Like this movie is one of the most beautiful DC movies we've got in years, and I think cinematography was awesome. Spe as for special effects, special effects were good. Like the special effects were great. They weren't mind blowing, but you know what? It, it was good. And I think it was awesome. Uh, what to talk about? Add add for the negatives. Okay. What about, what about the pacing was that? The pacing I mean it did feel very slow. But you know what? It, it, you know what? It, it, it's a two hour long movie. And I think the pacing was still good. Anyways, what I talk about? What can do a spoilers? Uh. Hmm. I think that better get too much spoilers. So I'll get my reading. Um. Now. 
it, 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 it is my favorite DCE movie out of all DC movies we got in years. I think so. It's better than BBS. Better than Man of Steel. Way better than Shooter Squad. In fact, it might be this movie and Marvin Shooter came out after Man of Steel came out. Because what I'm thinking about, this movie is more about against my hope and truth and justice than Man of Steel did. Great, Man of Steel wasn't a bad movie. It wasn't. It was an okay movie. You know what? I think this movie I think, was still a good one on movie. Is it a bad 2 9 film? No. 2 9 was perfect. But you know what? This movie is still called second. I recommend it. Now, do I. Now, is your one one fan? Do I highly recommend you watch this movie? Yes. Is this movie better than Logan? <gasps> no. Logan was perfection. Logan might be the most favorite movie of this year. Yeah. But this movie is close second. I can know, I can know, maybe I could forever because John Wick had to beat, beat me. Anyways, um, I'll give my video. I give, anyways, um, I give one on one jump, oh please. A, three out of five stars. Like I said, it's not perfect, but you know what, it, it, it's a great movie, and I highly, highly, highly recommend you see this. Actually, you know what, maybe I'll do five out of five stars. It almost had five, except for the old final battle with CGI. Well, then, you know what? That that we expected. There we go. That's my view of Wonder Woman, the new DC movie of Police Counter Motor. You might be doing like it today. Also, what's your favorite thing about Wonder Woman? And are you except are you going except with sequel? I, I, I'm gonna go with sequel because yeah, yeah, but next Wonder Woman movie, I hope we get Cheetah. Cheetah will be awesome to see live action. Me, this is me. There we go. I can be a one on on Sports Free Possible on Push Counter Mode that you might even be doing it today. Also, I can fit me follow me on Twitter and please subscribe to my channel. Until then, peace out. Oh, one one. Woo! See ya. Bye.